Insurance Bureau of Canada says it will likely take several weeks to know how much this storm will cost. Anyone needing to make a claim must first take photos and document the damage before calling their insurance provider. Well, a scary moment for workers at a construction site this afternoon when a small crane tipped over. No one was injured, but it did knock out power for thousands of downtown residents. Our Jeremy Thompson is live in Oliver this hour with the latest. Jeremy. Well, Aaron, it was just after one o'clock this afternoon when the crane you see behind me here tipped over into this large hole at this condo construction site. As you mentioned, part of it did land on a power line and actually a neighboring doorbell cam captured the moment that happened. I spoke with a firefighter and a construction worker on scene here, and they say the crane was being operated by remote control when it tipped. No one was injured, and the site was evacuated without issue. Part of the crane came to rest on a power line, as we mentioned, knocking out electricity for about 3,000 people. Power is still out for a few hundred customers. I spoke with one man who was at home next to the site when it happened. He says he heard a loud noise, and then it got louder. Then the house shook. And I was like, oh, whoa, something's happening. Uh, so I stood up and we have a skylight. So I looked out my skylight just in time to see uh, the crane on the ground and the transformer just popped. And the, the, the strength of the pop, I could like, you could just like feel it hit the window almost. Um, it, was, it was wild. And then, and then immediately after that, it was like two minutes straight of like, are you okay? Are you okay? ATCO crews were able to deactivate the line. Builder Abby Holmes confirmed to CTV News an occupational health and safety investigation is underway. Neighbors are thankful the crane fell the way that it did rather than on any buildings or cars. And of course, tons of people have been coming out to, to check out the scene and just see what happened. Many of those people coming from uh, other construction sites in the area and speaking with a few of those people who are sort of experts in cranes, uh, they figure that there are sort of three reasons this crane could have tipped over like this either the stabilizer was not was not good or the load was a little too heavy or perhaps the winds were quite high of course all of that and more is going to be part of this ohns investigation aaron okay our jeremy thompson reporting live for us tonight from the oliver neighborhood thank you